Uh, it's too early for this. What's up, all you real people? Welcome back to another episode. Guys, I am so tired. I barely got any sleep last night because I was so anxious about this tournament today. So nervous about it. I just hope it goes a lot better than the last one did. Uh, we're heading out to the villages and uh, I think it's around Tyler. It's for, we're fishing on Lake Palestine. It's a Lake Palestine bass tournament. Uh, five bag, uh, five bass bag limit, 14 inches. Uh, doesn't matter if it's spot or large. Basic rules. I just really hope it goes a lot better than the last one did. Um, but yet again, it's cold, dark, and rainy. So it probably is going to be the exact same. But I know this lake a lot better than I know Lake Tyler. So hopefully it won't be that bad. So fingers crossed, guys. But uh, we're going to go out there. We're going to catch uh, as many bass as we possibly can today. We're going to give it a 110% effort. Rain or snow, guys. Rain or snow. So uh, let's get it. And uh, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Collection channel. And uh, yeah, let's go get it. Give me some. Alright, we'll, we'll sit here and catch them all day long until the solar motor goes dead. <sighs> Where is it? There it is. Did I get it? Uh, it's up right there. There it is. Oh, you got your clips in there? Yeah. Go ahead and pick this up. That's a good one. Now, is your live wheel on? Yeah, there's a little bit of water in there. He'll survive for a little bit anyway. Nice one. That was a good one. There's bass number two. Another nice one. They're so pale color this time of yeah. year. This one is pale. This is a little bit dark. Darker water down here. Nice. Good one. Good one. Real good one. Oh man. He thumped it. He thumped the crap out of it. Oh I got him in the side. Wow. That won't even count, will it? <laughs> no, he's not. He's not 14. Wow, how did I do that? I guess he went for it and missed. I mean it would be legal if I don't think he is. I don't even think he's 12. That's crazy how that worked. Oh, he got it bad. Oh. Huh? No, I was just bouncing it and I felt the tick tick and I thought he had it in his mouth. I pulled on it and then he got it like in there deep. I can't get it out. Goodness. It is in there. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, there it is. I don't think he's 14. Where's the ruler at? Nah. He's only 12. Is he a spot? I 
finally got one. Well, a keeper size anyway. I got him on the rattle trap, which I've been throwing all day. He's definitely about 14 for sure. Goodness. These are Yozuri rattle traps are no joke. Yeah, he is a spot. Look at that. Yep. Rough rep patch on his tongue. He's chunky. He's over 14. Touches. Wait, nope. It doesn't touch. See? Mouth touching, it's closed, and no. I didn't hear them say anything about spots though. I know. We're going to keep him for a second and. Uh, See, he's right there. We're going to keep him. 13 and 3 quarters, almost, yeah. You just want me to throw him in there? You want to put a clip on him? So it's a no? That hurts. Not a keeper, but still really fun to catch. Got him. No, was... Got him barely. Got him barely. Got him. Yep. He ain't gonna make it either. Dad gone. <sighs> no, I don't think he will either, but I'm still gonna try. On these spots, is he a spot? No, I think that's it's a largey. Got a nice mouthful of it. Yeah, go on. I hate it when they get like right in the side of the lip in that loose skin area. Yeah. It takes forever to get that out. Not even close. He's not even 13. All right. Well, y'all, we're gonna have to go in early 
the tournament is supposed to we're supposed to check in at three to weigh in and it is 153 uh, we started the day having really bad engine problems the battery was completely dead then we went and changed and got a whole new battery and then we started having trolling motor problems and we just managed we didn't even use the trailer motor through the entire tournament we just went around using the engine which was very difficult but even after starting an hour and a half late and coming in an hour and a half early we still managed to get two fish probably close to five pounds maybe a little bit more they're a really nice size but yeah it's it's been a struggle today weather was horrible yet again dark cold and rainy and then add engine problems on top of that so yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all can only guess how fun this was, but still had a really good time. I caught three dinks, of course. They call me the dink master for a reason. And then Pam caught the really two nice ones. But it was a really fun day, really fun, Lake Palestine. Great fishery as always. But uh, we're about to put the boat on the trailer and uh, wait for the guy to come in so we can weigh in real quick and probably call it a day. And I think the boat is starting to drift for some reason. I don't know, hold on. Ugh. Watch out, Zeta, Zeta. Watch out. Give me about five minutes and I'll lay them for you. All right. We ran out of battery again. And we stopped there. And it almost didn't crank to get us here. <laughs> and the trolling motor's dead. <laughs> yeah. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. The patterns on the face. Yeah. I mean, those are good. Those are good two and a half pound fish. Yeah, they are. Those are some good ones. There's not a lot of water in there. But... Yeah, yeah. They, they ain't going far. No, but see, this thing ain't holding water either. do got some weight to them yeah i'm gonna go ahead and throw a guess out there and say five three i'm gonna say five three saying all day.